Hello and welcome to TDS. My name is Mr. Bright and I'll be your instructor for this project. In this project, we will dive into the BFSI industry, that is the banking, financial services and the insurance industry. We will be predicting whether a particular transaction is a fraudulent one or a genuine transaction. We will be using a data set which consists of about 284,807 rows with 31 different columns. We will be using six different algorithms in the likes of logistic regression, naive base, random forest. We also consider the grid size CV as well as using dummy classifier to confirm skewed predictions as a result of imbalanced data in our dataset and try to balance this data using up sampling and down sampling with the help of the ray sample method. At the end of the project, you will see something like this. We will start by importing the various libraries necessary and then we will load our dataset. We also perform some exploratory data analysis to get familiarity with our data in the form of visualization. We also check the correlation that is existing among the various attributes in our dataset. We use the heat map to confirm this. After that, we also check the various features that are of concern to us in the form of a univariate data analysis. As I said, this data contains an imbalanced data and we will check that with the help of the pie chart. Then comes preparing our data for model building. As I said, this data set contains an imbalanced data and we're going to deal with that. Before we start dealing with that, we're going to use what is called the dummy classifier to actually build an algorithm on this data set and then measure the accuracy as well as check which class is actually predicting the most. After that, we use what is called the app sampling to balance our data and then build an algorithm on that. We will check the accuracy of these algorithms as well and then use what is called the classification report to also check the performance as well as the confusion matrix. We consider the downsampling also and then do the same process again checking the accuracy as well as the classification report. We also generate some synthetic samples using the method called SMOOT that is synthetic minority over sampling technique and then after that start building the algorithm again. We also check the accuracy as well as the confusion matrix. After that, we will compile all these algorithms together and then see the performance with the help of the AUC or the area under the curve and then see how well all these algorithms are doing and then choose the best algorithm. You also have the alternative where you can scale the amount and the time and then start building these algorithms again and then check the performance and choose the best algorithm. So as you can see, this is an interesting project and I'll be glad to take you through. So let's get started.